announced that Terrence Howard will present. Turned plus size. It's the work of 20-year-old Spanish artist David Lopera. And he says that he actually makes them for people who like big women and want to see their favorite stars looking fuller. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs> Hacienda Ford has another exclusive offer you can't refuse. Bring us your vehicle and we'll give you cash just to appraise it. Yes, yes you heard right. right. Let me repeat. Simply bring us your vehicle to appraise and, and we'll, we'll give, give you cash. cash. Hacienda Ford is the only dealer in the valley to make this incredible offer. Let us appraise your vehicle, then it's up to you. You can you sell us your vehicle, vehicle, you can trade us your vehicle, or you can simply drive away with the cash. Another exclusive offer from the RGV Truck Superstore. Hacienda Ford, Edinburgh. From the Valley's News Channel, this is Channel 5 News at 5. Anxiety now setting in for some illegal immigrants. A federal ruling is delaying a temporary stay in the U.S. Yeah, about 5 million people are affected across the U.S. That, that includes many here in the Valley. Here's a look at uh, two programs now impacted. They're called DACA and DAPA. DACA deferred action for childhood arrivals. The application process for that program was supposed to start tomorrow. That's not going to happen now. DAPA is deferred action for parents of American children born here in the U.S. That process doesn't start until May. Channel 5 News tracked down some families who are now stuck in limbo. Our Leti Garza live with the reaction. Leti? That's right, Melissa. Those hoping to qualify for the president's executive orders are upset. Immigration attorneys and activists are asking students and parents impacted to stay calm. Attorneys like Jaime Diaz in Brownsville are asking parents and students to continue to get their paperwork and applications organized. His advice? Don't panic. One mother who was hoping to apply for deferred action says she's tired of living like a ghost. Another woman impacted by Judge Haynes' decision says she can't believe the ruling. Lo que me hace pensar es que what I think is he doesn't know the community or the people. We don't know why he rejected us. He may have had a bad experience with some immigrants and he thinks we're all the same. Texas Governor Greg Abbott, who led the state into the lawsuit when he was the state's attorney general, said U.S. District Judge Andrew Hanen's decision earlier today in Brownsville rightly stops the president's overreach in its tracks. The Obama administration insists what the president did is legal and is promising to appeal the ruling. Live in the newsroom, Leti Garza, Channel 5 News at 5. Channel 5 News has taken a closer look at Judge Andrew Hainan. He became a federal judge 13 years ago, and he was assigned this lawsuit through an automated system. Meanwhile, Lupe, a community organization, expected to sign people up for DACA tomorrow. The group is helping illegal immigrants prepare for the application process. Though today, Lupe was overwhelmed with questions about the ruling. We've had many, many people visit the offices, concerned about it, you know, asking, you know, questioning, what does this mean? What does it mean for me and my family? We have fought for this for years. We're not about to give up. Executive Director Juanita Valdez says Lupe will continue to educate folks about the application process just in case the ruling is overturned. Department of Homeland Security Secretary Jay Johnson also spoke out about the ruling, saying in part, quote, I strong, strongly disagree with Judge Hainan's decision to temporarily enjoin implementation of deferred action for parents of Americans and lawful permanent residents and expanded deferred action for childhood arrivals. The Department of Justice will appeal the temporary injunction. In the meantime, we recognize we must comply with it. And to quote Johnson's entire statement is online now at krgv.com. Can on Channel 5 News to keep you up to speed with the president's executive action. Follow our developments on air and online. You can also stay up to date through our Facebook and Twitter pages and, of course, that KRGV mobile app. My plan more than doubles the spending on securing the border. It has 500 new state troopers, more Texas Rangers who can focus on corruption, more funding for local law enforcement, more for technology to stop the transnational criminal activity that threatens every community in Texas. 
Governor Abbott unveiled his comprehensive border security plan during his first state of the state address today. Abbott says funding uh, to train and deploy new state troopers along our state's border with Mexico is a top priority. The budget he sets aside totals $735 million for 2016 and 2017. As governor, I have identified the funds needed to keep the National Guard in place until the legislature acts. As soon as the DPS has the permanent resources needed to secure our border, then we can bring home our dedicated National Guard troops. The governor also calling for more funding for transportation and education. Everything unveiled today, part of what Abbott calls his emergency items, early education, higher education, research initiatives, ethics reform, transportation, and border security again are all a part of it. Breaking new developments on the Donna ISD scandal pages from documents we've been waiting for. Yeah, they come from Donna's employee handbook and in it, a warning to all workers about inappropriate relations with students. Our Carrie Zayas is live with those policies in hand. Carrie? Well, guys, every single employee is required to read all 135 pages of this. Some of the information in this handbook is specifically linked to the trouble that Donna ISD now faces. Again, three Donna ISD employees are accused of having sex with students. We found a code of ethics under employee conduct and welfare. An educator shall not solicit or engage in sexual conduct or a romantic relationship with a student. This handbook also clearly states an employee can be fired for soliciting a student for a romantic relationship. It also details the types of inappropriate relationships like hugging and sexual comments. Now under the standards of conduct, rules prohibit electronic communication with students like texting or social media. Now, every single Donna ISD employee is required to sign a receipt stating that they have read this whole thing and that they will follow the rules. Carrie, about two weeks ago, we reported some similar information. So how is today's report different? Well, about two weeks ago, Channel 5 News exposed this. Now, this is Donna ISD school board policy manual. All of this, it covers topics pertaining to the entire district and the same warnings and consequences concerning inappropriate relationships with students are also listed in this board's policy manual. You know, a lot of parents wondering tonight, any changes coming soon to Donna ISD? Good question, because back on February 2nd, the superintendent said this. The board has uh, tasked me to providing a uh, action plan uh, within the next 30 days. Uh, so I will be meeting with my staff uh, to provide a uh, comprehensive action plan uh, regarding the, uh, our concerns. When are those 30 days up? That is a big question tonight. Superintendent Jesus Reina did not return our phone calls, our texts, or our emails today, but you can count on us to follow through on this story to the very end. Live in the studio, Carrie Zayas, Channel 5 News at 5. If you've been out today, you notice the day started off kind of cold and windy. Now the breezes are dying off. Winds about 10 to 15 miles per hour or so from the north. And temperatures finally starting to warm up in some areas because the sun is breaking through the clouds. 58 in McAllen where the sun's out. 50 in Brownsville where it's not nearly as sunny. And it does look like a cold night ahead throughout the evening. We're looking for temperatures to fall through the 40s. And the winds continue to decrease. Should see temperatures land in the 30s in many areas tonight. We'll see when the warmer weather is coming back in your first 157 day forecast straight ahead. More than a dozen women accused of food stamp fraud are now officially charged. Prosecutors ring up what they stole in benefits after the break. And will they or won't they be destroyed? We're taking a closer look at the future of 108 liners. Channel 5 News is back with all new local headlines in two minutes. Breaking news. Breaking stories. This is Channel 5 News with Oscar Adame. Melissa Correa and First Warn 5 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tim Smith. This is Channel 5 News at 5. More excitement. More adventure. More tunes. More versatility. America's most exciting lineup is at your local Nissan store now. And now's the best time to get yours. 
Choose the 38 MPG Highway Altima and save up to $32.50. Or save up to $12.50 on the 33 MPG Highway Road. Get to Nissan now. Bonus cash and soon. Shop ChooseNissan.com. Innovation that excites. Attitude is everything. And it starts from the top down. It starts with my dad and then it comes, it comes down to the brothers. And then it comes down to our, our employees. If you have a good attitude, I think you have a good recipe for success. And we have a lot of great employees that have a lot of good attitudes. And uh, it shows. Employees come in with a good attitude, a happy, positive attitude, and they really take pride in what they do. And customers are going to be happy because they're being serviced by somebody that enjoys coming to work and somebody that, uh, that appreciates what they do. I think attitude is very important. Just like you, we live, work, and play in the areas we serve. For Magic Valley, serving a community involves more than just providing electricity. You are likely to see us at your child's school, at community events, supporting local nonprofits. As our membership grows, we continue to ensure that you, our member, continues to receive safe, affordable, reliable power. You and I make Magic Valley. Empowering you. Empowering your community. The fact is, in Texas, when you engineer a truck like Ram 1500 with best-in-class 29 miles per gallon highway and a 9,200-pound towing capacity, your playground gets a whole lot bigger. Get a great deal during Ram Truck Month. Now, current owners of select pickups get 11000 in total values on the 2015 Ram 1500 Lone Star Premium Crew Cab 4x2. In just six months, from, from the Syrian border to Cuba. Live from the heart of historic Havana. To the White House. Will you visit Cuba in your final two years? The newsmakers turn hey, into hey. us. And when American jobs job. are on the line, he's there. ABC's World News Tonight with David Muir. Where will he take you next? At Channel 5 News, weather is job one. When weather's breaking, a, if there's uh, going to be any weather that's going to Valley. impact your life, we're going to be on first with the storm. We'll continuously track the storm, even if that means cutting into regular programming. And we won't go off the air until the threat of the storm is over. That's what we do here at Channel 5 News. We're the station to watch. So when it matters most, day-to-day -day weather or a big storm, count on the First 1-5 Storm Tracking Team and Channel 5 News. Thirteen women accused of food stamp theft now officially charged. Ten of the 13 women appeared before a judge this morning. All 13 are accused of failing to report their husband's incomes from their work in the oil fields. The women are believed to have stolen nearly $337,000 in benefits. Hidalgo County District Attorney Ricardo Rodriguez says his office will make every effort to recover the money. McAllen police are searching for the driver involved in a hit and run. The victim is in critical condition. The accident happened on North 10th Street between Freddy Gonzalez and Hobbs Avenue Saturday around 3 a.m. The vehicle police are looking for is similar to the one you see here. Police say that truck will have extensive damage to its right front area and may also have blue paint transferred from the victim's vehicle. Anyone with information is asked to contact McAllen Crime Stoppers at 687-8477. It is too early to tell what will happen with 108 liners. Authorities say they are still waiting to see if the gaming machines will be awarded to Hidalgo County. The machines could be destroyed or auctioned off. Authorities seized the machines during a raid in La Jolla Friday. Investigators say customers received money for their winnings rather than the prizes they're supposed to get. We'll get ready for a cold night across the valley. Temperatures will dip down into the 30s in some areas, but sunshine finally makes a return to everyone tomorrow in your first 1-5 forecast next. Lax gives you the freedom of choice at our biggest president sale ever. Get no interest for 36 months, plus an extra 15% off the sale price, or save an extra 20% for cash. Now at Lax President Sale. In this increasingly fast-paced digital world, what your child needs is an edge. Introducing Sylvan Edge, the completely new, totally fun STEM courses that open up the amazing world of technology and puts it right into your child's hands. Imagine him building Lego robots from scratch, coding his very own shareable video games, or becoming a master problem solver. And he'll take these exciting skills to build his own future. Call Sylvan Edge at 1-800-EDUCATE today. Classes are filling up. Compromise, middle ground, 
Does it really look like we're holding anything back? Longhorn's dinner for two for $29.99. Choose two of seven entrees like the grilled portobello sirloin or the parmesan crusted chicken. Plus two sides, two salads, and a shared appetizer or dessert. It's a deal without a single concession. Longhorn Steakhouse. You can't fake steak. And for lunch, try our new tavern steak sandwich. Or get any of our steakhouse lunch combos starting at $7. The premier golf event of the year is just around the corner. The 19th annual Vamos Cup Golf Tournament presented by Doctors Hospital at Renaissance. It's Saturday, March 7th at Palmview Golf Course. Over $20,000 in prizes to be awarded. Hole-in-one vehicles from the San Juan Luxury Auto Group dealerships at each par three. For more information, call 631-1273. Join us and help Vamos award four-year scholarships to graduating high school students of the Rio Grande Valley. Deadline enters March 2nd. Don't miss it. Vamos! Burt Ogden Harlingen Hyundai is your destination for a great deal on a new vehicle. Try the 2015 Hyundai Elantra just $99 per month or the sleek and stylish 2015 Hyundai Sonata, yours for just $159 per month. And with Hyundai Assurance, you get America's best warranty, 10 years or 100,000 miles. When shopping for your next new car, the best option is to take the Altus Palmas exit to Burt Ogden Harlingen Hyundai. Dolly Goss. Now at Lax President's Day Sale, get this great seven-piece living room package with TV for just $16.99. Sectional cocktail ottoman, end table, lamp, shag rug, and 50-inch LED TV, all for $16.99 at Lax. And now, First Warn 5 weather with meteorologist Alan Shoemaker. Chilly day out there. Definitely the coldest day we'll see this week behind a cold front that moved through yesterday evening. 55 still in Westlaco, 50 in Brownsville, 40s at the island where it's been kind of a chilly, breezy day at the coast. Now we are setting up for a cold night ahead. Clear skies around, lighter winds. The winds continue to decrease from what they were earlier this morning. Air is pretty dry too. It's dry and cool, so it makes it cool off faster when the air is dry and you combine those other ingredients. So we'll fall down into at least the lower 40s, many areas in the upper 30s tomorrow morning. Don't think we have any freezing concerns. I mean, you might see some spots up in northern Hidalgo County, northern Star County, uh, down close to freezing, but generally most areas in the upper 30s by morning. So we're looking for low temperatures tonight. See the numbers there. A lot of blue on the map. Cold night down to about 37 in Harlingen, 39 in Westlake, 36 in Rio Grande City, and near 40 or better right along the coast where the temperature won't change much there at the island. Tomorrow, sunshine all day. That's good. Cool all day, too. Temperatures by afternoon only back into the 60s. Very little wind tomorrow. Winds may be 5, 10 miles per hour or so most of the day. Just a, a pretty calm, gorgeous day if you like sunny, cool weather as temperatures warm into the 60s. You can see the clouds clearing out right now. Over the last couple of hours, the clearing has come in from the west and almost made it to the coast. So most areas of the Upper Valley have sunshine now and the clouds are starting to thin across Cameron County. But clear skies do mean that cold night ahead. Future track shows at 7 p.m. Clear skies around, still a little breezy at the coast, and then the winds die off everywhere overnight. Chilly night, so by morning, temperatures, as you saw, could start off in the upper 30s. Sunshine returns all day as temperatures warm to low 60s or so lunchtime and mid to upper 60s by afternoon. Tomorrow night, the winds start to switch more to the southeast, and you see some patchy clouds trying to come in Thursday morning. It looks like from Thursday through the weekend, we're going to be dealing with stronger winds, pulling in more clouds and warmer temperatures. So Thursday afternoon will get kind of breezy. Wouldn't be surprised to see wind gusts up around 30 miles per hour. Kind of one of those breezy stretches of weather coming with partly sunny to mostly cloudy skies. Clouds will continue to thicken later Thursday and then going into Friday. Still more clouds and maybe not completely gray, but more of a mostly cloudy, breezy, warmer stretch of weather, like I said. So future track shows this is tomorrow afternoon with the winds. Winds very light tomorrow. You notice the colors don't really show up until evening and we get a very light southeast wind. Then the winds start to kick in Thursday. By morning, they're light, but by afternoon, this kind of orangish color here, greenish, yellowish, orange color indicates winds about 20 to 25 miles per hour. And then they die off some Friday, and then Friday may be even windier with some stronger wind gusts possible up over 30 miles per hour. And it looks like that will continue at least through Saturday, maybe even in the parts of Sunday before the winds switch around with another cold front coming in. But across the country, we're not dealing with the super cold stuff. Temperatures in the single digits up north, 9 in Minneapolis, 19 in Cleveland, and then well below zero in southern Canada. And this next blob of cold air is ready to dive south and cut across the northern United States once again. So if you have friends up north, the cold blasts aren't done. At the coast tomorrow, much lighter winds, no advisories on Wednesday, low tide 813 in the morning, high tide at 413 in the afternoon. So your first one five seven day forecast, sunny tomorrow for Ash Wednesday, highs near 67. Very little wind. Winds get a little gusty by Wednesday or by Thursday afternoon, a high of 73. 
Then windy afternoons, Friday, Saturday, and maybe into part of Sunday. Highs around 79 on Friday, 84 on Saturday. The next cold front's due sometime late Sunday. That could spark some showers and then a better chance of rainy, colder weather returning on Monday. We'll keep tracking the changes coming up in your first Warren 5 forecast. You know, for 30 years, Tim Coates has helped keep the needy warm, distributing over 200 50,000 coats. Just a few minutes ago, our Tim Smith <coughs> received a special proclamation from the city of FAR. For those efforts of Tim's coats, he is live in FAR, the city hall right now. Tim? Oscar, it is officially Tim's Coats Day at the City of Far. Take a look at the proclamation read by Mayor Polo Palacios just a few minutes ago inside the City Hall at their City Commission meeting. And we just want to say a huge thank you to them. The proclamation uh, recognizes, of course, Marty Moore of DM Cleaners and his family, which is here in the City of Far, just about a block away from City Hall, as being an integral part of that. And, of course, all of the work that Channel 5 and the Dry Cleaners and the Salvation Army and Catholic Charities have done for 30 years now. We know the count is at least 250,000 coats that uh, have gone out to keep people warm on cold winter nights, just like we're going to have tonight when temperatures are going to fall, as Alan said, probably into the upper 30s across the area. So it's nights like these that we need these coats, especially kids' coats, but adults too. You know, if you don't have a new coat on a night like this, it feels pretty chilly. So as a reminder, as we say thank you to the City of Far for this proclamation, I want to remind you that there's still time. You can still give coats. If you've got one you don't need anymore, gently used coats can be taken to any of the participating dry cleaners across the valley. They'll clean them, they'll mend them. There's a list on your screen. And then through Catholic Charities and Salvation Army, we'll get them out to people across the valley who need them as quickly as we can get them out. And we know we've still got you know, another month or so when we can have some cold nights and it's possible that folks still don't have that coat. So there's still time. So we encourage you to participate. But in the meantime, a big thanks to the City of Far for this proclamation today. February the 17th, 2015 is Tim's Coats Day in the City of Far. Live in Far, Tim Smith, Channel 5 News at 5. Hear ye, hear ye. A job well done. Mm -hmm. Also, a little something for you. Considering another cold night up ahead for us, the Mid Valley's first warming shelter will be open for the first time tonight. This is at the First Baptist Church in Westlaco. People in the Mid Valley now have a place to seek shelter on cold nights like we'll have tonight. A check-in is from 7 to 11 p.m. The shelter located at 600 South Kansas in Westlaco. For more information, you can call them at 968-9585. The Chowder Days Fiesta filled with traditions, including the work of one artist who captures its meaning on canvas. Con mi gente, next on Channel 5 News at 5. Payless Power is now in the valley providing affordable prepaid electricity. Sign up with Payless Power for as little as $40 and ask how you can get $100 of free electricity. Call 1-855-55-PAYLESS, giving you the power to pay less. I'm outside. Where are you? I'm right here. I'm in the Buick. I don't see a Buick. Oh, got it. Encore, the expectation shattering crossover from Buick. Wow. During the Buick President's Day event, current Buick or GMC lessees get $4,500 toward the purchase of the 2014 Encore when you finance through select lenders. Looking for designer glasses? Get Coach, Fendi, Armani, and many more for the best prices at iMart Express. Or choose two complete pairs, frames, and lenses for $39. Two pairs with no-line bifocals for $99, all with a free one-year warranty. And you can wear your glasses today. We'll text you when they're ready. You get a lot more for less at iMart Express. Most insurance accepted. In Brownsville, next to Target, and in McAllen, next to Applebee's in front of Burlington Coat Factory. Your story doesn't add up. Where were you Friday night? I told you. Tell me again about this deal. I switched to Time Warner Cable and got more HD and movies from Epics, ultra-fast internet, and unlimited nationwide calling. Go on. With TV equipment included, all for $89.99 a month. And for $9.99 a month, I added stars with a $50 rebate. He's telling the truth. That's a great deal. Yeah. Oh, I love this show. Oh, I do too. Call now and get free installation. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Meet the Mitsubishi Mirage. It's amazing where one gallon of gas can take you. The all-new 2014 Mitsubishi Mirage, the most fuel-efficient non-hybrid in the country. Starting under 13,000, it's a small car for a big life. Take a test drive at Payne Mission or Payne Brownsville Mitsubishi. We have what you want. With Payless Power, 
Remember, there's no credit check, no deposit, no ID, or Social Security card needed. You can sign up for as little as $40. Plus, ask how you can get $100 of free electricity. Call 1-855-55-PAY-LESS. Giving you the power to pay less. Con Mi Gente is supported by Security First Credit Union and Sonic. Chato Days begins in Brownsville this Sunday. The annual event is kicked off with the unveiling of a poster. Here's Rick Diaz with Con Mi Gente. I'd like to welcome everybody. The unveiling uh, is a major event, an event that involves the entire community, from the different organizations to the city to the school. <laughs> Every year, the posters are different. Don Breeden has been the artist for the last 15 years, and he gives each poster a lot of thought. I looked deep into what I, what I thought Charo Days meant, and, we, and it's called Charo Days. So let's bring out the Charo. This time, a Charo is the model. This is the more formal version, called the Traje de Gala. He wears a tight-fitting uh, short jacket to match, a loose-fitting necktie of silk around the neck, Always a white shirt. And so the time has come. And I bring you the 2015 official Charles Days poster. But it's not just a picture, it has meaning to it. That's why I've got the charro, I've got the, the agave in the background, because oh, both of them come from the state of Jalisco. A copy is presented to the primary sponsor of the poster, Keppel Emfels. Don and Jesus, the Charo model, sign as many as they can. The posters have become a collector's item. We start off on, on the 22nd with Valle del Sol, and it's here at our Charo Days headquarters. It's, uh, E.J. Martinez is president of Charo's Days Fiesta. It's a week-long celebration along with other groups like Sombrero Fest and Mr. Amigo. Plus, we'll have our BISD parade on Thursday, and then Friday is our, our illuminated parade as well. And then on Saturday, we also have our grand international parade. But with violence going on in nearby Matamoros, there is a concern about safety. We have a great community. Uh, I don't have any doubts any, in, in my mind about how secure we are and how wonderful we are. Charro Days has been going on for 78 years now. We start with a grito at 3 o'clock, and we welcome everybody to come and join us. It's Charro Days, and it starts this coming Sunday. For Channel 5 News, I'm Rick Diaz. Call me. Con Mi Gente available at krgv.com 24-7. Click on the Community tab, and then click on Con Mi Gente. We'll be right back. El Pollo Loco offers the perfect combination of flavors in our new shrimp mango tacos, shrimp verde enchiladas, and shrimp and chicken avocado bowl, which begs the question, what are you still doing in front of your TV? New Baja Shrimp Pantries, El Pollo Loco, crazy you can taste. More excitement. More adventure. More tunes. More versatility. America's most exciting lineup is at your local Nissan store now. And now's the best time to get yours. Choose the 38 MPG Highway Altima and save up to 3250 or save up to 1250 on the 33 MPG Highway Road. Get to Nissan now. Bonus cash and soon. Shop choose Nissan.com. Innovation that excites. It can happen to the young and to the young at heart. Sometimes life's little aches and pains are something more and won't go away with time. The Orthopedic Center at Harlingen Medical Center is here to help relieve pain and restore activity to your lifestyle. Our dedicated board-certified doctors treat patients of all ages, providing individualized care and utilizing the most advanced technology to diagnose and treat bone, joint, ligament, and muscle disorders. If it's broken or hurts, you'll want to come here. The Orthopedic Center at Harlingen Medical Center. We are the community's choice. This is where the NBA starts. This is how NBA rosters are built. This is the NBA in the RGV. Come see your RGV Vipers take on the main Red Claws Thursday, February 19th. Then it's Vipers versus Iowa Energy Saturday, February 21st. Games presented by Matt's Building Materials and Lone Star National Bank. For tickets, call 972-1144 or visit Ticketmaster.com. RGV Vipers versus the main Red Claws. RGV Vipers versus the Iowa Energy. Be there. 
Couch True Value is one of the few family-owned hardware stores in the Valley. Celebrating over 80 years at the same location means professional customer service and great bargains for you. Like 10% off six colors of skirting. 16-ounce propane bottles, couches price $3. Entry locks, polished brass, or stainless steel, only $5. Couch has over 60 color combinations of vinyl siding and skirting in stock. Start right, start here. Couch True Value Alamo, the siding source. At El Pollo Loco, we're proud to introduce our new three-course family meal that's perfect for the whole family. Whether you're an omnivore, a carnivore, or a desertivore, new eight-piece three-course family meal for $20. El Pollo Loco, crazy you can taste. You're watching KRGV, Channel 5, Westlaco. Well, a little chilly today, but we have a warming trend beginning tomorrow throughout the upcoming weekend. So here's your first one, 570 forecast. Wednesday plans... Ash Wednesday, plan on being in sunshine all day tomorrow. Blue sky, temperatures cold in the morning. We could start the day in the upper 30s, but in the 60s in the afternoon, not much wind. Then the winds come back Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. It gets rather windy, especially Friday and Saturday afternoons with temperatures warming through the 70s and lower 80s. Should see a lot more clouds, though. Not completely gray, but not nearly as sunny. The next cold front we're tracking is due in here by Sunday evening. We'll track it for you at 6. Thanks so much for sticking with us on Tim's Coats Day. Not bad. Congratulations to the entire group. Have yourself a great evening. Bye-bye. Closed captioning brought to you by Channel 5 and Clark Knapp Honda. Security First Credit Union has helped generations of Valley families realize their dreams. We were there from the beginning. There for your first financial success. There for the big steps and the small. When your family joins Security First, you can trust your financial future to the credit union that's been part of Valley life since 1947. With 16 branches from Brownsville to Palmview, we'll be there for generations to come. Security First Credit Union. Always family. Always first. Right now, save up to $5,500 off MSRP on 2015 Suburbans and up to $5,000 off MSRP on Tahoes during Truck Month. Plus, save up to $10,000 off MSRP on a 2014 Chevy Silverado Crew Cab with GM owner loyalty and trade assistance. Come celebrate with us where the party and the savings never stop. Meet Fiesta. Es su Fiesta. Fiesta Chevrolet Edinburgh. Whoa, look at all these coats. I predict it's gonna be a cold winter. I can make a fortune out of all these coats. This one's missing a button, but we can fix that. We can sell them. Or you could give them to someone in need. Okay. Someday I'm gonna talk about this on TV. The cleaners will clean them. And we'll mend them. Catholic Charity and Salvation Army will give them out. 30 years and still going strong. Sharing the warmth. With Tim's coats. <laughs> You're watching KRGV, Channel 5, Westlaco. On this Tuesday night, it's about to get even worse. The brutal cold, the new system now sweeping in. 200 million Americans. Record lows from North Dakota all the way east, all the way down to Florida. Tonight, the deadly accidents, the ice rescues, hundreds of thousands without power. The explosion, the train disaster, and fires still burning. Our team on the scene tonight. The American sniper trial, and this evening, the new video here. The accused killer in the police cruiser. Far different from his days in Iraq. Under the microscope, the St. Louis police and the dash cam video. And you hear the officer alert the others. The camera is rolling. Everybody hold up. We're red right now. So if you guys are worried about cameras, just wait. You'll see it right here. And up close and personal tonight, we're at the Westminster Dog Show. Can you pick the winner? before they do. From ABC News World Headquarters, this is ABC World News Tonight with David Muir. Good evening, everyone. It is great to have you with us here on a Tuesday night. And just when you thought it could not get any colder tonight, from the plains to the Midwest, from Maine down to the Gulf Coast, hundreds of millions getting ready for possible record-breaking lows. A dangerous blast of cold air and ice in Virginia over the last 24 hours. That high-speed spin-out, the SUV slamming into that car there. Then on I-24 in Tennessee, rigs sliding right off the slick roads. 
Further north, the rescue is playing out. In this case, late today, three people stranded on the ice. Teams moving in quickly, and look at this in Georgia. This family using flashlights tonight. Homes plunged into darkness. We do have team coverage on the brutal cold, the states of emergency. Meteorologist Ginger Z with the track, how quickly it's moving in. But first, ABC's Matt Gutman in Nashville, where the driving has been treacherous. David, we've seen crash after crash along this highway, backup after backup. Motorists across this country's midsection have been driving on roads they thought may be passable, but instead have skidded.